Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow with Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, Shelly Finkel did an interview. He said that they hope to finalize Deontay Wilder next fight in June, okay? He said they're hoping to finalize, I mean, next week, excuse me, hoping to finalize it or agree to it uh, next week and finalize it and give you an announcement pretty soon um, after that. Um, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance in notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, he explained where the Robert Hellenius, uh rumor came from. He said he in the running. Um, you know, a lot of people said that they should have been sacrificed Adam Kanauke to Wilder at the Barclays Center. That would have sold pretty good. Um, so I have to agree with people that say that. Um, I definitely have to agree with that, but uh, they didn't do it. So, there really ain't no point of harping on it. They didn't do it. So, um, obviously it's not gonna be a out, out of the network PBC fighter. They gonna stay within the PBC network. Um, so Elaney's probably is the guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't mad at it. Heard the rumor was they wanna lead up to an Andy Ruiz fight. Um, Joe Joyce and Joseph Parker are already fighting, so it won't be Joe Joyce who's has some affiliations with uh, Premier Box Champions. I believe it's going to be Robert Lanius. That's what I've been hearing as well, too. And he said that he, you know, Frank Warren asked him, he said him and Frank Warren pretty close, and Frank Warren asked him if they fight Lanius. And he said that, you know, Lanius, he told he told Frank Warren that Lanius was in the running, you know, and he said that uh, Frank Warren ran off and, you know, told everybody he's Robert Lanius. So it probably is Robert Hellenius, you know, they they sparred, they sparred together, they sparred, you know, he's a wild sparring partner, had a big win over Adam Kanauke. Um So it probably is Robert Hellenius. So, I mean, uh, Deontay Wilder had a cast on his hand. Shelly Finkel said he'd been at the UFC gym in Vegas training. So you see pictures of him and Francis Ngannou. I mean, obviously you see people talking about Wilder legs. I talked about that a little bit too. Um, but uh, yeah, he still got a cast on his hand, so he said he don't know the exact date that they're gonna be fighting on. I mean, obviously he got a cast on his hand. He dropped a lot of weight. I mean, actually, he put weight on to fight uh, Tyson Fury. Obviously, you know, uh, to bulk up the you know, deal with Tyson Fury size, which his power didn't go nowhere. You know, I, I'm not. I don't know if he hit harder in that third fight or whatever it was. But his power didn't go nowhere. You know? So, but uh, he dropped all that additional weight. And he naturally that size. For him not to be doing, I don't know exactly what he's doing. But he don't, you know, the, when you lose weight, it ain't hard losing weight, to be honest. It really ain't. It ain't hard, you know, for some people it's hard gaining weight. But they got they got supplements to help you gain or lose weight. It's hard to keep it on when you naturally, or can take it off when you naturally not that size. And you slip back into regular habits. So it's going to be hard for him to keep that weight on. All, I mean, on. But he should stay the size that he is. By 215, that's your advantage. That's your advantage. Your speed is your advantage. And then the way he punched, his body can't handle that shit. Even with the additional weight to help, you know, absorb that punishment, his, his body can't handle it. So... So you put weight on, you still hurt yourself throwing punches, with, you know. It's the same result after punches, so you really ain't, like, absorbing the punishment. But, I mean, Helene, it's a good fight coming back, and, you know, what's his goal? I think if Usyk win, I mean, obviously his goal is Usyk. Anthony Joshua wins, his goal is Anthony Joshua, but that seemed less realistic. You know, Joshua ain't trying to get in there with Wilder. Let's be real. He ain't trying to get in there with Wilder. So, that is what it is. That is what it is. He ain't trying to get in there with Wilder. So, Usi, I believe Usi will. Now, fourth Tyson Fury fight, he down for it because he made a lot of money. And Shelly Finkel said this is the, mo this is the most Wilder's been talked about in his career. Yo.
He can have a George Foreman like come back. You know, he come back and beat Uzi. But if his, his head ain't in the game, you know, if you don't want to fight no more, bro, just have a going away fight versus Brian Jennings, bro. Y'all have beef, close that beef. He make a leave, help a black, another black man make another money, a, a lot of money. Y'all ride off into the sunset. You know? But you got some people talking about water legs and shit, man. And, you know, a lot of the, you know, niggas that's true. You know, black people are naturally top heavy. White people are usually bottom heavy. You know, you just go to the gym and look at sports. Look at Manny Pacquiao. He ain't neither one. But look at Manny Pacquiao. He is a uh, hundred and, uh, you know, 40 pounds. He got big ass legs. Now, you do got some brothers with some big legs. Tash Crawford got some big legs. That's where... That's where his his hot why he's strong. Everybody look up top. Up top don't make you strong. The delts, the traps, the the buys, the tries, the forearms. You know, if you want to be real, the most important shit up there in the back and all that shit is the grip, is the hands. Nobody talk about the hands. The grip, the grip is is what you know. It's, it's more important than all that shit. It's the core and everything below the core, and then the grip. You know, that's why you see them people like I some at home, you know, you use that your grit. You know? But you know, a lot of you know, a lot of people be bottom heavy and they still be light, be be light in the bottom, you know, light, you know, small in the legs and still be strong. If you play basketball, it's a lot of them dudes who who got little legs and but they strong though. So size ain't always a representation of, of, of power generated or strength. But when Wilder put all that weight on, he was it was imbalanced between his top and his bottom. Kind of like a spinning top, and he do need to work on his legs. You know? That's where you can put that's where you can put all that's where you always can lift heavy at in your legs, especially when you're an athlete. That's where you always can lift heavy at. Always. That's where your power and strength come from. You know, and you know, you know, he, you know, he. That's something that he should work on. And then, then black people don't like doing the squats, the deadlifts, the lunges, the tire flips, and all that. All that shit got to do with the legs. Everything, the power generated, no matter what you're doing, start from the legs. All that chest and delts and traps, that shit don't mean nothing. Hex. Tries and buy. I don't really mean nothing, bro. That's that real strength come from that core and legs. See, you see people lift through chest all day, every day. That shit just it's cool. It's, it's just cool. You don't really mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. It's just cool as hell to do. It's fun. But you know, his legs, it was joking. Oh, look how little his legs is and shit like that. But look at the power he generated. So imagine if he did, if he did have some legs, he probably never would have got knocked out. And then he don't run miles neither. He said he just sprint. Nigga, this ain't basketball. I always looked at if it's good enough Muhammad Ali, good enough for, um, you know, Joe Lewis and, you know, Patty Pacquiao and Sugar Ray Leonard and Floyd Mayweather running the miles on 24 7 in different little videos man it's good enough for everybody else sprinting is for basketball because basketball pace is constantly changing it's you know it's intervals intervals is a good way to lose weight especially if you don't if you don't like running distances for real it's a great way to you know you don't like running a straight mile it's a great way to lose weight walk on a decline walk down on a decline Go back on the decline, then go up and jog for a little bit. Then go then go back to the decline. It's a great way. Then go flat for a little bit walk. So yeah, intervals is, 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 are great. But that's more of a basketball thing. That's more basketball. Could be more football too. Hans Ward said he never ran a mile until he retired and started walking on or working on some different stuff. You know, but for boxing, it's about distance. You can make sense of sprints, but distance distance should be your main it should be your main course. And it, 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 it mentally it mentally it 
can mentally challenge it mentally cha it helps you build mental fortitude it's a mental it's more mental than anything it, it, it develops push he should be running miles and his conditioning won't go nowhere to be that light and, and fury out working you that let you know size you know size don't matter if you got condition you good they say fury is a condition free And, and Wilder should be should be running, jogging miles. You really don't run them, but you know what I'm saying. You doing distance. He should be doing marathons and jogging miles and shit, and then mixing in a little bit of sprints. You at two seven two fifteen two seventeen, fighting guys two thirty and up. Yo, part of your advantage is not just speed. Part of your advantage should be conditioning. It should be conditioning. So, well, yeah, you know, they was talking shit about his legs and stuff. So, I mean, everybody critic, but won't say it to his face, though. That'd be sad. Niggas say, niggas say anything they want to say on the internet. But won't, won't say it to his face. Internet that made people too comfortable with saying, you know, saying shit they not going to say to somebody's face. That's the gonna be interesting to think about Wilder. I mean Crawford Spence. All the niggas that talk shit, you know, you gonna be, they gonna be at the fight. They gonna be at the fight. And see that energy still the same. It's not gonna be the same. I can tell you that already. Yes, they got that yak in their system, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, future chance and notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financial want to support the channel. Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All that information is uh, in my link tree. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Peace.